All right, so now you can see that we have everything all set with the purple mountain norm. Everything is all set from zero down to 25. And now what we're going to be looking at is the body data files and also taking a look at how you can preview the breed within Norn Pose. So Norn Pose is right here. You can see there's our little guy. And basically we can pose him in different poses if we want to. We can put him in pose number seven with the body, which looks crazy, but <laughs> basically this program just allows you to manipulate the parts and let them kind of line up and make sure that the body data is correct. And now the definition of a body data file it, well, it looks like this, for the head at least. Um, different body parts do have slightly different formats, especially the body. If you come across any that start with B, the AT, there are ATT files that start with B, those are the body ones. Get ready for a surprise because there's a lot of uh, more, there's a lot more numbers in there. But these are just coordinates and I'm going to provide some type of uh, diagram and also description going over body data in the future. For now, just know that they're XY coordinates. So for instance, let's take a look at the first row. 1720, that's an XY coordinate. And what that's looking at is, this is actually row zero. So it's gonna correspond to the first sprite over here. And it's saying that at 1720, that's where the head is connecting to the neck. So it's gonna be around here. And then the second set of coordinates, for the head at least, is where the mouth is, right around here. And I found the mouth, that coordinate doesn't really make a big difference, um, but you still want to make sure that it's at least somewhere in the right region. You don't, you don't want to say the mouth is the ear. I, I don't know what would happen there, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> so all these rows of numbers actually correspond to the different bitmaps in each sprite file. So, remember this is a004.att, this is a004.spr, so they correspond with one another. Um, now you're probably wondering, well over here, there's only really 10 rows of data. In here, there's 26 actual bitmaps, so how does this line up? Well, you'll notice from here, uh, from 13 down to 25, all of those are for the closed eye poses. So those don't actually use different uh, coordinates or anything, they just line up and you'll notice that's why Norns should typically have their heads stay put when they blink, just the eyes look like they're closing. Uh, so that gets us down to about 0 to 12. You'll notice that uh, the ones labeled 12, 11, and 10 are just different uh, faces, they're different facial expressions for number 8. So really what we're looking at is from 0 to 9, and so that's what these all correspond with. The first row is for this guy, this row is for that one. Um, it's kind of hard to, at least for me, sometimes I get a little confused because you're really trying to line up 0 through 9, not 1 through 10. So if it helps any, you can label these next to them just if you really can't keep track of it. Sometimes I do this. The only thing to remember though is make sure you remove that before you actually save the file. So that's basically body data um, it's for me it's a little hard to get my head wrapped around at least to start with so don't worry if it looks like if it just looks like a crazy amount of numbers don't worry about it <laughs> the big point here is that you really want to get into if you want to get into breed making for creatures one creatures two creatures three just jump in and try to get a hold of everything you know learn what's going on with it what does this program do how would I do this and just see if you can get you know if you enjoy it um, it's very tedious work I will say that <laughs> but in the end it's really rewarding especially when you come out with something that really works and you've worked out all the glitches and everything it's really fun to see these actual, your breed in a world and be able to play with that and share that with other players. So back to this. Now what we're looking at here is again, we're in pose eight in Norn pose. So again, pose eight is going to be right here. And this is for the facing forward face, which you can see in Norn pose here. And it's also zoomed in a little bit right here. So this is where we're going to work with the body data and actually the XY coordinates. So the first one is X, and X coordinate is left and right. So let's say we said, uh, I don't know if 29, maybe that's not right. Let's, let's go with 20. So I would save it, I'm doing Control S, save that, and then if I just hit Create, 
it will update it. And this is basically because they have them in the right directory. If you want more information about that and how to get it to work quickly like this, feel free to post away. <laughs> so obviously that is not where we want his head to go. That's a little, uh, looks a little uncomfortable. So <laughs> we'll just get him back to the starting point before we move forward. And so that's where 29 is. If we say we just want to make a slight adjustment, we can go 28 and you can just see, moved him over slightly. Um, maybe that's better, but we'll just keep it at 29 where it was. <laughs> and then, so that's left and right that you're moving. And then for up and down, that would be your Y coordinate here. We can say maybe, let's say, I, I don't know, maybe 45. That doesn't look, that looks, there we go. That looks better, right? <laughs> The floating head norn. So uh, definitely wouldn't recommend this. So uh, the poor little guy, I don't know how his head's connected. It's not. There's his poor little neck. So we can go back to 25 and say, yeah, that looks good. Um, and then uh, to be more, more realistic, maybe his head looks a little bit low. So maybe we can move it up to 27 and say, yeah, there we go. Now he looks a little bit taller and he looks better and so on and so, so forth. I'm just going to move it back to where we were so we don't mess anything up. Uh, one point that I did want to make about the body data and actually finding these coordinates is that you'll notice in norm pose, as I'm hovering over this little guy, if you look at the bottom, um, I can't really scroll down there, but well, it's going to be right here in this region. You'll see that there are, it looks like XY coordinates and it also says the color number. Um, you might be thinking, well, I can just use norm pose. That's easy. If I work on the foot, I'm going to be, you know, saying 36, 70. This is actually incorrect because remember that each body part is a separate bitmap file. So if you work on this one, it's actually looking at the entire image together. So it's giving you incorrect coordinates. Uh, most graphics programs have ways to figure out where the coordinates are with the cursor, just like this. Uh, what I normally do is I'll have all the corresponding uh, bitmaps open that I'm working with and I just kind of hover over and kind of find a starting point. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be exact because how I just use this method of changing it in the in notepad and then updating it in norm pose. I found that's the easiest way for me to see it just because I, I'm not really just guessing, I'm seeing what it looks like. And there's more advanced techniques here where we can hide different body parts uh, in order to really see where everything, uh, oh no, <laughs> we can see where things kind of line up. Um, but again, that's a little more advanced. I just wanted to cover the basics here. And that basically covers it though for now. So that's it. <laughs> for, and hopefully it's been kind of informational and hopefully it doesn't look that daunting. I know it sounds like it is. And believe me, when I started getting into this, I said, I'm never going to be able to do anything like this. I said, even updating some of these creatures, one norns, I said, maybe I'll be able to do like one little head piece and that's it. And, and I won't be able to do anything else. But Believe me, it is possible, and I have a lot of respect for the people out there that have been doing this for a long time. Those people who are able to develop breeds from scratch with, you know, brand new images that they're using, um, and even people who create breeds based off of the existing breeds. That's still a, a very difficult thing to do, so um, there's a lot of steps involved, but if you really want to get into it, it's something that's fun to learn. Um, you're probably going to get frustrated at times like I do where things just don't line up correctly. Your, the hand is just too low or it's a little too left over to the left or to the right. Um, but again, it's definitely something that's fun to develop for the creatures series. So again, feel free, post questions, post comments, post about anything that you might have a question about. I'm happy to answer it. And I thank everybody for taking the time to watch this. Keep an eye out for more tutorials in the future.